Anybody else? Yeah, yeah. Everyone, int introduce yourself. My name's Ava. I'm a Scorpio. No, no, no. What's your last name? Oh, Ava Combs. So what's your uh -huh. other last name? Ava Baroni. Ava Baroni Combs. I was <laughs> on the streets. <laughs> And then Papa Combs decided to, that he would like to be a caring man. So then he saw me and decided to pick me up and said to come inside and play with his kids. Yeah. And so the question is raised. Where is Ava Baroni, AKA P. Diddy's adopted daughter? Let's go ahead and get into that story. Where does she go? I think because of the way things have been playing out for P. Diddy as of recently anyways, I do want to make it very clear and emphasize that there's been so many allegations against P. Diddy, AKA Sean Combs for the longest of times now. I'm talking years and years and years. I do believe the whole Cassie lawsuit really got him scared, shook and nervous, panicking, shickety shockety shook, as I like to say, you know? Um, so shout out to Cassie for, you know, finally coming out to tell her story. And again, I know a lot of people are like, why did she settle for 30 million? Let's be very clear. Cassie probably isn't going to see 30 million. Her career was pretty much owned by P Diddy himself. She has a musical career that people aren't really checking for. And yeah, so she's probably just like, you know what, I'm going to be unproblematic, take the money. And at least I have a statement out there and the world knows what's tea and with that happening a couple of months ago a lot more victims came forward to share their personal stories about p diddy and the monster that he is i'm going to be filming two videos on diddy today so definitely be on the lookout for them today's one is going to be about his adopted daughter where has she gone where is ava baroni and just this weird video that has been resurfacing on social media something about p diddy just creeps me out i mean it's not just something i think there's multiple things it's the crazy parties it's the freak offs like it's the underage girls I don't see it ending well for him, is what I want to say. I think sometimes with powerful people in the industry, powerful people in Hollywood, you kind of see like, okay, I can see how they might get away with that. I can see how this, that and the other. But I feel like the police are actually like standing on ten toes. My thing is that where was this energy for Epstein? Where was this energy for the people who are allegedly on the Epstein list? Like I'm... <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like that was very, very sus. But anyways, let's go ahead and get onto this article. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I would appreciate that. And yeah, let's get started. A video of Sean Diddy Combs introducing his adopted daughter, Ava Baroni, has resurfaced a day after two of his homes were raided for sex trafficking. In a clip from 2020 posted on TikTok, Tuesday, the Bad Boy Records founder is seen asking Baroni to introduce herself to his Instagram followers during a live session. My name is Ava, I'm a Scorpio. The team began before Combs interrupted her and told her to say her last name, Ava Combs Baroni. The billionaire hip hop mogul 54 then claimed that he had adopted this white daughter. Yes, it's, it was breaking news. Diddy adopted a white child. <laughs> I adopted you like Madonna adopted kids and everybody else adopted kids, Charlize Theron, everybody that's ever adopted Sandra Bullock. I adopted you because I felt that you could, you know, um, enjoy also having a black parent to take care of you and help you out. Bro, what are you talking about, man? In the video, Barona, Baroni claimed she was on the streets before Papa Combs decided that he was going to be a caring man. I want you to tell them the story of how I adopted you, but you still have beautiful parents that, but you're my child also, he said, as several other men made appearances in the background. Baroni then jokingly explained how she was on the streets before Papa Combs decided he was going to be a caring man. To be a caring man. <laughs> so then he saw me and decided to pick me up and said to come inside and play with his kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, just clarify it because it's, it's crazy out here online. So, so <laughs> I, I, I played with the kids, and I got permission from your mother and to say all of that just make it it's crazy out here. So then he saw me and decided to pick me up and said to come inside and stay with his kids. She shared, adding that she and the rapper's twin daughters, Jesse and Delilah, are basically sisters. While Combs admitted Baroni's recollection of events was a little borderline suspect, he claimed he adopted Baroni like Madonna, Charlize Tetheron, and Sandra Bullock adopted their children. I adopted you because I felt that you could also enjoy having a black parent to take care of you and help you out, he continued, adding that he got permission from the young, the young girl's mother. Combs concluded that clip by clarifying that her name is Ava Baroni Combs before kissing her cheek. 
and it's Ava Brioni Combs. Come on. Let's go. Fans took to the comment section of the video to question Baroni's whereabouts now. Where is she now? One fan wrote. The public is speculating if this underage minor named Ava was allegedly one of his sexual victims, a third TikToker commented. Page Six has reached out to Combs' rep for comment but did not immediately hear back. All the time of this publication, Baroni also made her Instagram account private. Now we see pictures of how Baroni looks now. She's an absolutely beautiful girl. People are saying, the people who did follow her before she went private saying that a lot of her posts are like really weird looking. Um, she looks to appear quite sad in the face. I don't know whether people are just exaggerating. I don't know whether it's anything linked towards Diddy. Um, again, we're gonna see how things pan out, but it's just really weird that this girl went private. Now, could there be a possibility that she did have a good encounter with P Diddy? Maybe, but I'm going to bet that she probably didn't. I think that she saw some traumatizing things. She probably saw a bunch of people come in and out of the house. She probably questioned a lot of things. She probably was even a victim herself, unfortunately. Um, P Diddy loves the kids. There's even a video of his interaction with Justin Bieber. 48 hours with Justin Bieber, I mean, what do you want that for? Justin Bieber is like, what, 15, 16 at the time, P Diddy's 41, like, go and hang out with people your own age and be a decent person. I don't think there's so much to ask. A lot is coming out. This must be a lot for her as well. Um, I know that people are saying that she's still friends with P Diddy's youngest kids, the twins. Um, it's just really weird how P Diddy's saying stuff like he found her from the streets and how her parents are okay with that. Like, that's just so weird. There's some random dots in between that story that I don't think really do make sense like the parents are okay with you I mean that's not how I think adoption would work though if you found her from the streets and adopting a white child like why is there so much emphasis on the white child and also Papa Combs bitch I ain't calling you that even if you're my actual dad let's be very clear Papa Combs drives me like it just makes me feel very uncomfortable especially with the things that we know now it's like goodness gracious my like what has she witnessed his eyes just always look dead hence why he's always wearing sunglasses and a lot of photos but when he finally takes it off it's just like ugh. you know like it's just like ugh. like it's just a whole bunch of darkness like sometimes I'm like I get like I'm not gonna lie I've worn sunglasses inside buildings before but that's truly because I looked a mess, you know? I doubt P. Diddy thinks that of himself. P. Diddy is somebody who like has this God complex and holds himself in this high regards. And it's not necessarily people doing it for him. It's him doing it to himself. To the point where I think people are kind of like here for the takedown of P. Diddy because he's so cocky and has been for the longest of time now and kind of saw himself as very untouchable. He loves to wear glasses in his interviews. And I'm like, it's an interview, like, I would want to see someone's eyes. Now, I don't know the science behind why I want to, but I just wouldn't enjoy an interview if someone's wearing glasses as much compared to if they'd taken it off. Like, when he does finally take it off, like I said, his eyes just look very dead. It looked like there's much, there's nothing much behind there apart from an evil soul. Somebody who needs to be caught and questioned and I really do pray that the truth will out because there's so many victims, I believe, who are just, like, tormented by this guy. You know, and I think a lot of people will finally be able to turn over a new page and finally feel like they can breathe once this man is locked up and next to R. Kelly, you know? Um, people are saying, okay, this person's next, we need to catch a celebrity. I do agree with that, but I do think that we need to also not move past this story in this situation. Um, of course, it's a black man doing this. So of course, the, the police officers in America are going to bang beyond their door a lot more quicker than they probably would a white guy. It's just, unfortunately, the day and age we live in, but I feel like a crime is a crime at the end of the day. And I think this story is even more comical, entertaining for the general public because for so long, again, like I mentioned, P Diddy has tried to appear to be this like untouchable man. Nothing bad will happen to him. I do think he is quite intelligent though. Whatever they're looking for in that house, whether it be a USB stick, I think that they're looking for something as small as a USB stick that is going to indicate him being guilty. Um, this guy probably is one step ahead one step ahead um it's a very very crazy story i will go ahead and continue to report on it and keep you guys informed as much as possible so yeah again let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section i've been your host is keisha and i'll catch you guys real soon for a brand new video bye